Welcome to Harvard, the place I would have gone if I didn't disappoint my parents. No, but in all seriousness, this is Harvard campus. Just took the red line from downtown Boston, and these are my first steps into Harvard. Because I literally have no idea what's going on, we have someone who does. A friend I recently made named Samuel. Uh, Samuel, he also has a YouTube channel, and he studies here at the business school. So we're going to get a little tour of the campus. I'm going to ask him some questions about what it's like being at Harvard. I think it's going to be fun. As you can see by the selfie stick, I'm not the only one here being a tourist. I think uh, Harvard is a pretty popular place for people to stop by when they're visiting Boston. First impressions, it's pretty easy to see why. I mean, look at these beautiful buildings. Is that the library? Okay, yeah, this is where I'm going to meet, meet my buddy outside this library, which looks like a presidential palace or something. Okay, so the guy, the man, the legend, Samuel Hello. Samuel Bosch. Samuel Bosch, that's me. Great to see you again, man. Yeah, good How to be here today. Channel? Doing really well. Uh, I'm excited to give you a little tour of Harvard University. I've done some vlogs before here, but it's the first time I'm actually having a collaboration, so I'm very excited. So this is the grand staircase. Um, that's cool. I'm going to show you the office of Wagner himself. So this is uh, the office. Whoa. This is the original, one of the original um, Gutenberg Bibles actually from 1454. It's a piece of history right over here. The Latin Bible is the first major work printed in Europe with movable. Yeah, that was the Gutenberg printing press, right? Yes, that yes. Was they, that's what they started with? Oh yeah, the Bible was the first thing that they printed. But look at this office. Imagine sitting here and working here every day, having your meetings over there. So Samuel, who is this behind you? This is allegedly John Harvard. Allegedly? Uh, allegedly, because the person that you see there is not actually John Harvard. I think it's some random dude. Uh, but they don't really know how John Harvard actually looks like. But when you zoom in on this foot, you see it's like very shiny. It's because people touch it all the time. I don't know, I think people think that it brings luck. But there's this challenge that a lot of undergrads just pee on that foot. So it's very disgusting. I wouldn't touch it. <laughs> Should we tell the guy who just touched it? Hey, you know what you just did? <laughs> <laughs> we should probably. <laughs> That's actually fascinating, though, that it yeah. could change that much just from people touching. Like, that's... Wow. Show me the picture, if you don't that's mind. Him. You're saying that's the president of Harvard behind it? It's just <laughs> Oh, I thought you meant the guy with the camera. No, yeah. like immediately <laughs> behind us. <laughs> immediately behind us. <laughs> this is actually the first time I'm seeing the, the president of Harvard here. He was waiting for me to come. He was, uh, he was waiting for you to come. Dan from The New Travel is going to be here. We got to... Yeah. <laughs> so, you know what's really interesting about this, this building? Um, this used to be an undergrad dorm and the president had his office on, I think, the second floor. Wow. But then the problem is, you know, he has very important visits. Angela Merkel was here, presidents come here, yeah. and then one day he was here in his office and then some kids were blasting hip-hop music from the second floor and it was like super loud and very oh, embarrassing. No. And since then they moved out the undergrads and now it's just the president's office and some other offices. Oh, so like just some random student is next neighbors with the president. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's like super loud. And imagine you have like Angela Merkel visiting here and then there's some, you know, hip hop with some very inappropriate lyrics blasting from the floor yeah. above. <laughs> <laughs> so this is one of my go-to places. I always have the exact same meal at the exact same place Poke works. It's very healthy. I'm very much into healthy food, so I always have like brown rice, you know. Okay. You're okay with people watching this finding you, right? They don't, yes, they yeah, know that's totally fine, that's totally fine. Like, do you remember what it was like, like your first days here? Oh yeah, so I moved here February 14, 2020. That was exactly three weeks before everything shut down from the pandemic. The very first day I stepped on this campus, I was just like, wow, this is incredible. This is where all the famous politicians and everybody has studied before. And then imagine just three weeks later, I hear this news and I'm like, this can't be real. This is like, like a nightmare. All of a sudden, everything shut down. And there must have been a lot of people who are like, wanted their money back. Student life is such a big part of what you're paying for. Yeah, and then imagine you're, you're kind of online and remote for two years. That's rough. Without knowing anyone, it was a really tough time for me. Okay, so, uh, do you hit the record? Yeah. <laughs> the place that you see behind me is called Spice. It used to be my favorite place. So, a bunch of MIT people, call them the Spice Boys, they started this as a robotics startup. So it was like, 
a kitchen that was completely automatic. You would just go inside on an iPad, you would select what you want to have in your food, Whoa. and it would cook it for you in front of you. It was really spectacular, actually. So is it, it's gone? Yeah, so the thing is, oh, they no. got acquired by Sweetgreen for $50 million after, I think, just two years of opening this. Whoa. So they all exited with a lot of money, a bunch of MIT mechanical engineers, and then Sweetgreen closed down the branch but they now want to use their technology to kind of automate some of their kitchen work and all of their branches. Wow. <laughs> yeah, well, it was really good food. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, you see some of this now. Is there anything left? Let's see if I can get a sh funny shot of it just like you empty. See where the iPads used to be at the entrance. There used to be the bar. Oh, and they removed the down all the oh, robots. Nice. It's so sad, actually. It's I mean, I'm glad they made their 50 mil, but they got to think about the hungry students who need their uh, food. I was really sad, yeah. yeah. As a Harvard student, how do you feel about uh, everyone who's not a student wearing your sweaters and uh, <laughs> all the Harvard souvenir shops? It's a big merch thing. I mean, I don't mind, you know, if people are happy promoting the brand that's great. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to judge. That always looks good. So this one feels like it's like the fifth... Uh Harry Potter house that didn't make it into the books or something. Like with the it is <laughs> the fifth one, yeah. So the interesting thing about Winthrop when is that this is apparently where all the kids that need protection go. So I think Malia Obama, or one of the Obama daughters was here. Uh, I think also the daughter of the Chinese president, even though they tried to hide it. So apparently there's like one floor where they have all this protection and security. Incredible. Allegedly. <laughs> so if you guys see me get tackled for bringing a camera in here, you know what that's about. Came too close to someone from the Secret Service Protection. Some guy in a suit jumps out of the bushes, boom! <laughs> YouTuber, four o'clock! <laughs> <laughs> so everything around this is Harvard Business School? This is all Harvard Business School. Everything is very posh, everything is very fancy, renovated, kept up to date, good food. You know, Samuel, from the outside, Harvard has a lot of hype. Like, people see yeah. it as the best and brightest. Do you think it lives up to the hype? You know, honestly, I think it does. I mean, the classes are not that much different. You know, numbers add up to the same numbers in Harvard, or Harvard or somewhere else. Uh, the lectures are pretty much the same. You can also watch them online. But it's just the people that you talk to. They're yeah. very interesting. They have good connections. They have good ideas. And they just inspire you to do more. Yeah. So I think that's pretty nice. I was actually hoping this table would be empty. Amazing. Well, that was my small meal today. Not as much protein as usual. <laughs> and so you were saying the Harvard Business School has a different cafeteria set up than the other ones. Yeah. You got the good fancier. stuff over here. Yeah, it's a lot better. <laughs> I mean, the undergrad dorms always have kind of mediocre food because they're undergrad dorms. That's just yeah. how it is. So obviously here, this is all pay by weight. This is like salad bar type stuff. And then they also had a make your own taco uh, type set up. They had some grill. They had some make your own smoothie. All kinds of different options in there. Pretty healthy stuff, I would say. If you pay $75,000 of annual tuition. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These beans are $1,000 each right here. Yep. <laughs> so we are um, copying the famous Harvard alumni. Kim Kardashian herself. <laughs> Kim Kardashian's selfies. I want to step in, the, in her little yeah. footsteps. <laughs> <laughs> this is what $50,000 a semester gets you. 75,000. <laughs> <laughs> In case you guys are wondering, it's about 22 degrees Celsius. It's just a perfect day right now. So oh, yeah. th that's why the common ground here is packed. Everyone is in good mood. Well, Samuel, you're going to have to run to class, right? Should we do a little outro here? Uh, yeah, we can do an outro, yeah. Cool. Well, is there one, like, quick... No, that's kind of like a silly question. But I was going to ask, is there something you... Some advice about business you could give the world from... Uh, this illustrious institution. <laughs> what did I learn? Some key takeaways. I think a networking is important. I think who you know determines so much what happens in your life because whenever you have the right friends, and you shouldn't just make friends because they're influential or they know someone that you want to know, but if you try to really focus on building a circle of friends who push you forward, uh, who make you a better person, I think it's very good. Because in the end of the day, in some way you become kind of the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. And you want to make sure that that average is really quality people that really challenge you on every single day. Cool, man. Well, it's, it's been a good. pleasure uh, spending yeah. time with you today. Check out Samuel's videos if you want to see more from oh, yeah. the campus. Lots of, lots of vlogs. <laughs> yeah. Not a pro yet, but I'm working on it. Samuel Bosch, what a legend. I didn't know what to expect today. We didn't plan anything, but he gave me a great tour, a great day in the life. 
of what it's like going to Harvard. You know what I've noticed today? Meeting Samuel, hanging out with him, and also just taking in the vibe and talking to some other people on campus is Harvard is surprisingly normal. I mean, there, there are points where he's like, yeah, like, we had a, we had a, we had a call from uh, Hillary Clinton in our business class a couple weeks ago, and Kim Kardashian was here a couple months ago giving a talk. And, like, every once in a while, you're like, oh, okay, I just remember this is Harvard. This is where, like, the elite people in the world are going. But, uh, and there's, look at this weird camera thing in front of me. Look at this. So that's what I mean, like all kinds of weird stuff happening in Harvard campus. But the people themselves uh, are normal. Like if you had an impression of people being stuck up or like elitist here, I haven't got that vibe at all. I found really cool people in Harvard. All right, so one more thing before we go. I showed you the cafeteria food earlier. One person I spoke to today said this place, Pinocchio's, is like the local pizza shop. Since we're doing a day in the life, I wanted to uh, try out one more classic Harvard place. Oh. 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 Oh.